philosophy and the goals of the Green Program have changed quite a bit in the sense of uh, conceptually when they first started out, it was a pageant. And we have since then swimming up the stream, changed it to a green program, and brought uh, community service, community awareness, uh, education in terms of history, tradition, culture, that kind of thing. And this is where the shift is starting to go, I believe, from a more Japanese type of festival and green program to a more Japanese American type of experience. Time and time again, again with almost all of the candidates, it is something uh, to the effect that they are looking for something. They are searching for something. And basically they are looking for a connection to the Japanese American community, uh, a connection to themselves as far as Japanese culture, Japanese history is concerned. Most of them are third generation, fourth generation. Last year we even had fifth generation. So as you're going along, they begin to look and search for things uh, that make them uniquely, I think, Japanese Japanese American. What I have noticed as far as the trends go um, in each group that I work with, uh, there are years that, um, a span of years actually, that most of the candidates have absolutely no idea who they are as Japanese Americans. And then you have to go and help them through that. Some years they are very well versed and uh, they have studied you know, Japanese American history or Asian American and you know they know more than you and you're like okay now what am i supposed to do and teach but um there's other uh, you know other avenues that some people don't know business etiquette some people don't know how to they've never worn kimono before uh i've had young ladies come in here and saying well how do i walk in heels and these are all parts of things that you can teach and apply to for the rest of their lives and this is one thing that i do actually stress in our our rehearsals is that you know these are these are learned behaviors that you can actually use you know for those people who are going through law school, law school you can use this in the courtroom you can use this in the boardroom you can actually present yourself much better and have the board receptive to what you're saying by utilizing the skills that you learn here and um, some of them actually do come back and say, hey, Nikki, remember that time that you, you taught us X, Y, and Z? You know, I, I kind of used that, and it worked. And, you know, that's when I, I kind of get that affirmation of, yes, this is worthwhile. This is something that I really enjoy doing. This is something that, you know, I, that will help somebody else. And it goes beyond just 